To get things started, I added some data that I would like to use to make a Gantt chart. Begin by going to Insert and clicking on the Bar Chart button. Select the Stack Bar option. You can either use the 2D or 3D version. Click on the Select Data button. Click on the Add button. Select your name label for your date column. Click inside the Select Values box and remove the default data. Then select your range of dates. Hit Enter. Click on the Add button again. This time, select your label for days to finish. Clear out the default data in the Select Values text box. Then select your day's data range. Hit Enter. Next, click on the Edit button. Select your task data range and then press Enter. Click OK to close the dialog box. Next, double click on your vertical axis values to open up the format axis options. Click on the axis options button. Open up the axis options and then tick the categories in reverse order checkbox. Next, double click on the leftmost bars to format the data series. Select the fill button and then click on the no fill option. Alright, now this is looking more like a Gantt chart, but there is still all this extra date space that we don't really need anymore. To get rid of this, start by selecting your first start date. Copy it and then paste it below. Right click on the pasted value and select Format Cells. Click on the Number category and hit OK. Now, double click on your date axis. In the Bounds Minimum box, type the value that you just created. Alright, that fixes that problem. This works because dates are actually stored as numeric values in Excel. Finally, to format your chart, make sure you are in the Design tab and then click on the Quick Layout button. You can experiment with the layouts, but I find that the fifth option fits Gantt charts quite well. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to make a quick Gantt chart in Excel.